everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everyone that watched my last tutorial and commented that you would like to see how I recolored the knight and repositioned the shield. So today we're going to do that. So as you can see, I've got my knight here and I've already cut my knight out from the background. So I'm going to make the knight a little bit smaller and then I'm going to come up to arrange and flip horizontal. I'll zoom right in on the shield and then come over here to my freehand selection and then just make a selection all around the shield here. Up and also around the arm and just make that selection there. And then I'm going to get rid of that by command X and then paste it back in again. Get rid of the marching ants. So I've got the shield now on a separate layer here. I'll move the shield behind the knight and then on my move tool, I'll reposition the shield and just move it up to where I think would be a good spot about there. What I'm going to do is just fix up this part of the arm here. So what I'll do is I'll come down here to my live filters. I'll come down to mesh warp. Now just to affect just this part of the arm, I'm just going to click on the lines here and just make a square around that section of the arm that I want to affect. Then this line here, I'm just going to drag that in and up without trying to affect that shield there. So we just got that arm coming back in and I think it looks good about there and then come up and hit done. So now we've got our shield and our knight and the shield is in the right position. So what I'll do now is I'll just rasterize this shield layer. So rasterize and then I'll just put these two layers together. So right click and merge selected. So we're just working with the one layer now. So we're ready to color our knight now. So we'll just move it into the middle. And so we're gonna come across to the swatches here and you probably would have seen that I've already got my knight's colors already in my swatches that I created and you can download these colors from the Buy Me A Coffee site or create your own. A good way to get your colors is, is to find a sample image as well. So if you find a sample image with the colors that you want, you can use your color picker to come across and pick those sample colors and start creating your own swatch colors. So let's start off, make sure we're on our layer of our knight and let's come down and add a new pixel layer and offer that pixel layer to the knight. So the whole thing is highlighted blue and drop that pixel layer in. Now on that pixel layer, we're going to change the blend mode to color. And we're gonna be working on this layer. So what we're gonna do first is we'll go and pick the red color first and that's what I'm gonna use for the cross here. So let's pick the red color, come over to our brushes going to have, as usual, a nice basic soft brush. And I'm also going to have my flow at 25% here. So let's come and zoom into the cross. And just in case anyone is wondering, I'm actually using a pen for this, not the mouse. And I'm also on a canvas 22 inch pen display. You can do it with the mouse, but it is, you know, makes it a little bit harder. Okay, so we're gonna go in Got our brush fairly small, got our color set to that red, we're on that pixel layer, got our brush set at 25% flow, and we're just going to color that cross in here. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit, that's not looking too bad. So let's go next and we'll color the tunic. So let's zoom in again and we'll color all of the tunic. So let's start up here at the top. We'll make sure that we're on the color for our tunic over here on the knight's colors. We're still on that layer. Now you could add another layer if you like for each section that you're going to paint. I'm just gonna use one layer, but if you wanted to have a cross layer, then add another pixel layer and call that tunic and then add another pixel layer and call that helmet. You can do that as well, but I'll just use the one layer at the moment. So I'm still on that layer. I've got my color selected. Still on the 25%, make my brush a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna go and color all of the tunic in here. And you can probably see that this is gonna be a very subtle, subtle color.
So command zero, let's have a look. So that's our tunic colored in. Let's go now to our helmet and click on the color that we're gonna use for our helmet and all of the metal parts. So let's bring that up again and zoom in. And let's color the helmet in. Okay, the other metal part will be the sword. Making your brush bigger and smaller as you need it. Some metal pieces over here that I'll do. I'll call this metal down here. Any other metal bits that you do. And I'm also going to use the metal color on the chain mail as well. So make my brush a little bit bigger and get all this chain mail. Okay, we'll go on to the leather now, which I've got this color here for the leather. And we'll do all of the leather, including the gloves and the boot as well. Okay, let's go over to our brown color now. I think we've got most of that. Okay, there's only one color that I haven't got in the night's colors. It's sort of like maybe a skin tone color. Let's bring up our colors and see if we can get sort of like a skin tone color, very light skin tone color. And just add that in as well. And also just with my black, I'm gonna pick a black color and I'm just gonna highlight some of these areas where the creases are. we go and let's turn the opacity down on our pixel layer down to about 60 percent so there you go everybody i hope you have enjoyed the tutorial of how i recolored the knight for the tutorial the fearless knight and repositioned the shield but if you have enjoyed the tutorial please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to my channel and until next time i'll say to you stay well stay safe and i'll see you in my next video